Hello and welcome to Sci-Fi Drawing 101 Week 5 with your lead instructor, Derek Stevens. Hey, how's everybody doing tonight? I'm feeling pretty darn good. Mr. Nelson, how you feeling, baby? I'm doing all right. Hey, uh, good. I'm glad that you are with us and I'm glad everything's going great at the Buzz Cave. Uh, first things are first, uh, we're having some homework issues and I know... Uh, Nelson's looking into that right now. Apparently, some buttons not working. Yada yada yada. But we will, we will find it. We will find out what's going on, because uh, I know you guys are working very hard on your homework, and I definitely want to see it, critique it, so you guys can improve. I also want to encourage you. You can email me directly as well at Stevens. That's S T E V E N S D is in Delta seven one at gmail dot com. Uh, so do that and I, I think uh, Steve Curtis uh, got on the forums and said hold on let me go to my, my Facebook page sorry people that's not relevant uh, anyway we'll skip that but email me your, your, your drawings your work directly or uh, I know Nelson will get on it ASAP and fix whatever's going on so with that said, uh, what I also want to talk about, uh, th this is Sci-Fi 101, week 5, we're going to go over armament and stuff like that tonight. But for those of you who are not aware of last night was the first uh, MMO concept art class. Uh, now Buzz, Nelson, the big egghead brainiacs that they are, and the armament, these guys are freaking smart. Uh, they're, they're starting the technical side and got a lot of work in the technical side of the MMO. And Buzz was cool enough to say, hey, let's start building some assets uh, through concept work so we can build them eventually in 3D, time into all the technical phases, yada, 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 stuff like that, right? So last night, we started talking about what's on my screen last night, the Aletheans, and uh, we're going to have this class every Thursday night, and it is going to be your chance as the student. I really want to encourage everybody who's been in Drawing 101, who's been in the sci-fi class, I mean, this is for you guys. Uh, you're going to be part of a team. It's not homework. It, it, it is, you're going to be part of the team, and collaboration is, is everything. And you're going to help or be able to help build a world and creatures, societies, monsters, foliage, a nice little path with some shrubbery along. So, I mean, all sorts of crazy, wicked stuff. So, uh, again, that's going to be Thursday nights, 9, or 9 p.m. Central Time. And uh, we'll go over that more later, but it's going to be a great way of tying what we're learning here in Sci-Fi Drawing 101 into some real-world applications. Did I cover everything, Mr. Nelson? Yeah, that's uh, pr pretty much it. Rock on. All right. Uh, do you happen to have any homework that we can go over that someone snuck it in someplace? No. Um, I think I know what's wrong, and I'll get that resolved here after class. Then I'll set it up to where... Um, there'll be two homework assignments, one for the last week and one for this week. They'll both be due next week, and then we can go over both of them next week, if that's okay with you. That works for me. Last uh, week, we went over uh, drawing some spaceships. We've been bouncing back and forth from, uh, like, this solid black, strong silhouette sort of thing, and then to line art, and last week's, I guess, rendition of the class, we did some line drawings of a cool spaceship. So anyway, we'll, we'll go over that homework again at the end of the class. But right now, it's time for the five-minute warm-up. <sighs> you ready for the five-minute warm-up, Mr. Nelson? Uh, yep. All right, let me uh, deselect here. I hate it when I prematurely select B for my brush. Come on, really, people? Or peas and carrots, cheese and rice. There we go. All right, I'm picking a, a nondescript blue because that's how I work. That's my phone going off or someone's trying to get a hold of me. I'm in class, people, stop it. I'm going to bring my opacity down to the 40s. And for the five-minute rendition, here's what I want to do is we're going to, uh, you know, since we're doing sci-fi, I'm thinking cyberpunk. Now, we've not really gone over anatomy, not a lot of anatomy. We've done a little bit of the deltoid, bicep, tricep. But what I'm interested in doing see what you guys are at, what level you guys uh, and gals are at. We're going to draw a cyberpunk chick, okay? And uh, it can be any style that you want. You can do the solid black thing and throw some details and tones, and or you can do some line work or a combination. But let's let's do a cybernetic or a cyberpunk chick from the cyber world. Does that work for you, Mr. Nelson? 
Works for me. And I'm actually going to draw clothes on this girl uh, because, you know, we don't want any naughty bits drawn and stuff like that. But, uh, uh, it's going to be good. I have, I have a vision in my head, and it's, it's not sugar plums dancing about. So as soon as you start the time clock, Mr. Nelson, I will start my five-minute warm-up drawing, and then we'll move on from there. All right. How about right... Just waiting for the times to sync up. Now. <laughs> I cheated a little bit. <laughs> because I can do that. Again, I'm drawing my first layer here. This is this my base level. This is my building blocks of what I'm going to be building. And we can build upon that. Everything's nice and rough. Go with my little arms, hands, with arm, hands. Apparently, I'm running out of room, so I'm going to select, hit Control T, shrink this bay up here like that, enter, Control D to deselect, zoom in a bit here. And continue to draw some feet. All right, so what I'm going to do now is make another layer on top of this. And then I'll do a darker get in here. It's going to be one of those nights where I need coffee, I believe. And I'm going to need to draw. And again, a lot of my drawings, I am kind of known for drawing girls in bikinis and bikini wear sort of stuff. So we'll try to do something different. With this girl here, we can tell that she's still a woman. But it doesn't have to be all curvaceous and all that sort of stuff. We can put different straps and such around her waist. Let's give her some baggy pants through here. Let's make this kind of a harsh, maybe a, a biker's jacket. Same thing through here, a couple more straps through here. Indication of the hands, give her a quick ear like this. Eyebrow, nostril. How are we doing on time, Mr. Nelson? We have about two minutes left. Okay, that's plenty of time. Plenty of time. Let's tie this all on through here like that. And then let's pick a different color through here. We'll just go with purple. Because I like a purple. Makes me think of Prince. It's maybe some sort of facial tattoo sort of thing going on here. Tom McFarlane said it best, when in doubt, black it out. I'm not saying that's a great theory or something you should always do, but uh, you really definitely need to plan your work.
Really? That's an orphan. Fifteen seconds. Numbers. All right. I'm so not happy with this chick, but for a five minute warm up drawing, I'm not going to complain. It's just my fingers aren't doing stupid things tonight. <laughs> she looks pretty awful. Yeah, my name's Helga. I'll knife you. And we're about done. Okay, sounds good. All right, so this is real quick, down and dirty and silly and fast. But uh, again, in my world, the last probably almost three to four weeks, I've been doing nothing but paperwork, doing comic book pages. And uh, for those who switch from paper to tablet, uh, you need to do a warm-up exercise. So I'm confident that I've got my juices flowing. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, again, it's supposed to be a chick but she's not like in a bikini and all that sorts of stuff. Uh, some sort of biker jacket, cyberpunk. Yay, we did a cyberpunk chick. Uh, this is the point now where we can share homework. Not homework, but uh, what we just did. If we have any volunteers, let's see what you guys came up with. I'm anxious to see who did cartoony. Anxious to see who did comic book style. Who actually did spot black. So raise your hand and be the next victim on The Price is Right. We really need sound effects. <laughs> yeah. We could still like have a, a cricket go on, chirp, 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 chirp. <laughs> How's it going, kids? I'm well. How are you doing? Oh, just ducky. Just ducky. I can't see anything. Is this a chick? Uh, yeah. Uh, hang on. Oh, how do I get to my actual Photoshop? There we go. That's not bad. Almost like she's got some stormtrooper armor. Yeah, um, I'm not good real quick. <laughs> it's, I, need, it's, I need time. It's, it's not, you're not like Sid. <laughs> Sid. Sid could blow her nose and make better artwork than most of the people that I know. So, no, hey, not bad at all. It's a good warm-up exercise, and, and people do need time. But it's good to feel what pressure is like and uh, to get the juices flowing. So, no, not bad. And I, I like that you use the base layer of the blues to build up on. Thanks. It does look like she should sue her plastic surgeon in her breast area. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I said, I need time. It, it's all good. <laughs> uh, I'll have to do some more homework and studies on those. Um, I was also, just on a side note, able to get Sid's and Bastion's homework as well as mine. So. Oh, awesome. Um, I'll tell you what, if we got some time, we'll go over, all, over yours, but we'll definitely do them next week. I don't know if we want to do everybody at once and this and that, but I, I seen your ape dude, right? It looks good. <laughs> ape dude. Yeah, that so was we, before you told me what we were working with. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's still pretty darn good. I'm proud of you. Well done. Make Thanks, sure made you quite welcome. All right, next victim. Who's up? We have an Alex Head. Hello, Mr. Head. If indeed that is your right and real name. Are you serious? I'm just going to show you a picture? Yeah, show them a picture now. You want to know why we're showing it? Mm -hmm. who, who, is who is this? This is Alex. Do you hear me? I can I hear can you, Mr. Alex. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I, I wasn't quite sure if I had a mic on this computer or not. That's not bad at all. I like this. I like the sketchy, loose feeling of it. It's very good. So where are you guys calling me? Thank you. Uh, New York. New York, New York. Rock on. Indeed. Up, well, upper uh, state. Hey, you know, the first time I went to New York, I'm like, man, there's a lot of forest here. I thought it was just all supposed to be concrete jungle. Right, right. And I was, I was constantly surprised. There's, there's a giant state around the city. Uh, who would have thunk? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm like, you have the Long Island iced tea that I like, and you have like 
really cool skyscrapers. And the first time I was there, I was with Anna Lee, some uh, photographer chick, uh, doing a photo shoot, and we were on top of a huge building. And the reason I say this for, for art classes, I, I brought my camera, tons of pictures, and thought, if I was Spider-Man, I could really do this here. Anyway, they were totally down, down off the top of the building, they were falling by, so that was about it. But anyway, thank anyway, you, Mr. Thank Alex. Thank you. You're quite well. Next fix. All right. Do we have a hand up, anyone? I see there's a Leonard in here, and I don't see his hand up, though. What? Yeah. All right. So I guess that's all the... Jane's in here, too. Sad. But no hand. Not even a fault. Wow, that, that blows. That really hurts. It's all right, you know, because we got more stuff that we can do, right? And maybe it's because it's, I don't know, maybe they had a bad night's sleep. Maybe they were up all night playing Left 4 Dead 2 like I was, and that's why they're all crazy, cranky, and tired. Could be, right? Possibly. Possibly. All right, so what? Uh, Doing sci-fi class. The whole theme for this this week is armaments. And what we're going to do is we're going to follow along drawing. And again, we've not done a lot of anatomy. I don't want to make it hard. I'm going to make it as basically simple shapes that I can. You guys follow along, and we're going to build ourselves an armored person. And again, uh, circles, triangles, rectangles, just simple shapes. And again, what I'm going to do is my, my whole visual area right here is 20 by 20 at 300 dpi. I'm going to come back in here and select my non-photo blue. Or I guess it's a photo blue. I'm used to calling it non-photo blue. And I'm going to create a layer, very important to name layers. This is Free Wolf Nightly. Making a layer, I'm going to name it, baby. I'm going to call it Base01. Wolf Knightley was in my uh, MMO class last night. He's like, why do you destroy your layers? That's not right. And he's right. I was just trying to save time, but let's try to do it the right way, shall we? Yes, said Mr. Thimble. Do you know who Mr. Thimble is, Nelson? Uh, no. He lives in my thumb. He often talks to me. So uh, Mr. Thimble's in agreement. I'm in agreement. And here we go. When I start to draw... If I'm drawing up in this corner, that's where I want you to draw. If I'm drawing down here, that's where I want you to do. Uh, but generally what I start out with is in the middle so I can make sure that my, my rendering is going to fit. And what we're going to do is, again, take down my opacity to, say, about 50, do a test stroke. Okay, I'm cool with that. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a big, you know, most heroes are barrel chested, so we're going to come through here like this. A big barrel chest. Make it loose, nice and neat, it's no big deal. And again, this is our base area. This is what we're building from. Now again, here's where the chest area is going to be. What I'm going to do here is connect my little neck and through here like this. And I'm literally, it is might quite not quite an egg shape. Hold on, control Z. There we go, Derek. So I got this this squashed egg looking thing with a couple indicators where the neck's at. I got this big barrel chest area where the chest cavity is going to be. And we know that all heroes, well not all, but most heroes, vast majority, have big broad shoulders. That would be your deltoid muscles. So what we're going to do through here is I'm going to make a huge circle here and a huge circle over through here. Now notice these circles on the outside of the chest here. They're not up by the neck. They're not down here. They're, they're fit right through this area like this. So we've got the indication where the head's going to go, the shoulders, and the chest cavity. And from here, we're going to make where the stomach is at. Now, I'm not drawing from here or here. It's where this, like so, like that. Now, if I'm going too fast for you, raise your hand in class. 
because I don't want to go super fast. So I don't want to lose anybody. So, Mr. Nelson, anybody got hands up? Uh, Leonard finally has his hand up, but I, I don't know if that's for um, this or not. Say, slow down, you freak. All right, we'll get to Mr. Leonard here in a second. Okay, the head, the shoulders, the barrel chest area where the stomach is going to be. And right here, we're going to start. Uh, this is a crotch, no polite way to say it. It's almost like a baseball sort of shape or a baseball plate. I'm going to come through here and draw it like so. And that way, whenever we get to it, we can fit the legs and through here like this. Now the brilliant thing about Photoshop is what I'm going to do right here is hold on, take my magic lasso, hit Control T, and I'm going to bring this up just a little bit. I like the proportion a little bit better. So you're following along with paper, tracing paper. You know, feel free to make adjustments as you need. Hit my brush stroke thingy again. Okay, we have where the head's at. Now, if you notice, well, anybody, normal human anatomy, from your shoulder to your elbow is about one head length long. So if I was to measure from here to here, it'd be about this size, from here to here. So other side, same thing. It's about that size here, where elbows are going to be at. And then we have big, I call them like ice cream cones area where the forms are going to be. So we have a very rough outlay or outline of, uh, of the humanoid sort of figure. And what we're going to do is we're going to start connecting some dots through here. Connecting this right here. And again, this is our base layer. So we're going to actually create another layer on top of this and do some fine tuning and adjustments. So we can actually make this look like armor. Anyway, your bicep through here, deltoid, tricep, bicep from your deltoid, tricep, connect the obliques together, and we won't worry about any of the knees or lower part of the legs, so to speak. I'm going to make my head just a little bit thinner by hitting a magic lasso area. Control D. Do a little bit of cleanup. And one arm seems to be longer than the other arm, and we don't really want that at the moment. So, again, using Photoshop tricks, Control D. And I have, I have a body going on here. I mean, we can work with this. This is not bad. So, because Wolf Knightley is so awesome, I told him I was not going to erase layers and such. I'm going to leave this base layer here alone. Come back down here to my Layers button. Create another layer. I'm going to put S or 2NDPASS -S for the second pass. I'm going to come back to my base layer and go set out and make it a little bit hard to see. So when I go back to my second pass and get a darker color, it will be much easier to follow along. And this is when we're going to start doing some details, OK? OK. This sounds like good to me. And again, Mr. Nelson, it's the Sean Connery Friday. So uh, whenever you, you interrupt or you say your thing, you need to do it in your best Sean Connery accent that you can. I'll do my best. You just failed. Come on. You just try it again. I can't. Yeah. I can't. I'll, I'll, I'll do my best, Miss Money Penny. You're a lousy blockhead. That's, that's, that's bad, too. But uh, All right. So here, what we're going to do is, again, I can mark through all this because this is in a separate layer. It's not going to affect it. And we're actually going to get rid of that first layer here in a little bit because we will not need it. So let's go ahead and make uh, this armored suit thing. What I'm going to do is make 
small indicator still here and I'm going to bring this around here like this where the ears might be and then the jawline is that here we go and back through here let's get some indicators of some sort of metal like straps that are coming along here and there's really no right or wrong reason we're just having some fun while we're doing this let's see okay so we got that going on right here the straps around the neck and let's protect that trapezius muscle putting some sort of armor plate here and what we can do here is we have all sorts of fun with the chest area. Um, sort of make it circle around where our shoulder muscles will be at. And then we can actually make it kind of like a layered plate. What we can do is come across here, small dip like this. And let's bring this in here. Bring this down here like this. We can have another plate. Or where I used to work, we used to call this a trauma plate. That was a good place to be shot if you had to be shot. Because there's a plate there that protects your heart. It was like a second, almost like a second vest sort of thing. So I'm going to leave this area alone right here for right now. And I'll tell you why in a second and let you guys catch up. We got kind of a helmet type shape, places where the ears and straps are on the neck place where the trapezius muscles will be protected and uh, the chest plate through here. Now we have the latissima dorsi, the lats, that are protected through here on the side. So what I really want to do is bring some armaments along this area here. And because it's metal, I'm going to again, and going to the idea of plates, I'm actually going to follow this along through here. And then we can make some indications through here so it's going to start to look like these things are overlapping each other so bring this here on the side as such and then we'll come here and we're stressing it up at this point by making some small indicators I'm not for sure what these do but hey let's leave no stone unturned So how's everybody doing so far? Do you need me to slow down? Uh, no. Okay, do not be afraid if I, you need me to slow down. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take the first base layer off. And this is what we have so far. Not bad for a second pass, right? Throw my base layer back on like this. And this is where we're going to have some fun with some of the shoulder pads and stuff like that. So the reason why I didn't want to draw in through here we need to have a way for everything to connect. So I'll make a little circle like that's where the nuts and bolts are going to go. And inside the shoulder here and the shoulder pad itself will be bigger. And we'll go along outside the shoulder. And then we can bring in some pads like that. Same thing with the indication where the shoulder is going to be here like this. And I can come down here like this. Come down here like that. And the cool thing, really cool trick I'm going to show you guys real quick. Because, you know, already I can tell this is just looking. My right side's not the same, quite the same as my left side. So I'm going to try this. I'm going to take my base layer off. I'm going to take my tool here. And I'm going to, let's see. Cut this thing. It's not lined up, Nelson. Hold on. Let me turn this around a little bit. Control T. Make it try to go straight up and down as I can. It's a really cool, quick trick. Okay. 
and this is edit cut edit copy edit paste I'm gonna move this bad boy right over here like this and there's other shortcuts that we can do I'm gonna hit my lasso tool control T and by holding down the control button I can loop this thing all the way around here like this and then piece it together as so and then we get like a mirror image split right down the middle to make things look more can I guess prettier pleasing to the eye because we all like symmetry and then we can come in here and start to clean up Say what? Sorry. Well, it was, yeah, I'll just start hitting layers. There we go. And right now, instead of building up all the other layers and stuff like this and our, uh, our base layers, let's start concentrating on some, some detail. I think that will work. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, I need a volunteer. I need someone to tell me what exactly is the purpose of this, this particular battle suit. So raise a hand. And is it going to be a light armament? Is it going to be heavy armament? Is it a stealth suit? Let me know before we put a lot of details. So someone volunteer and give me a lead in a direction. So watch for that, Mr. Nelson. All right, hands up if you guys want to um, help Derek out. Anyone? Or post in the questions panel. Not in the chat panel. Nobody. I well, Leonard Sand is still up. I don't know if he if that's for this or if it's, he just never put it down. Go ahead and contact him. What the crap? He, I'll put him on the spot. Okay. Put me on the spot, eh? I'm gonna put you on the spot, buddy. Okay. All right. So, what was your hand up for? Uh, to show the picture way back. Okay. Well, we'll do that in a little way bit, but you're on the way. spot right oh. now. I don't know if you want to see it. It's scary. <laughs> Is it scary? <laughs> well, well, like I said, we'll look at it here in a little bit. Let's. What I what I need to know now is from you. What is kind what of you, suit? Yeah, it's a jumpsuit for dropping out of a spaceship. Okay, let me ask you something. Are we going outside of orbit? Or no, it'll be this, be like uh, uh, low low uh, in, uh, high atmosphere. There we go. High altitude, low drop. Yep. Halo. I never jumped that high before. And that would be nice. That would have been fun. But anyway, <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's concentrate on this dude's face for a minute. And we shall concentrate. So uh, let's see. I'm thinking this, this suit's got to be kind of slick and lean and mean, if you know what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do here is right through here draw a line and some nice indicators where it would be able to like be wind resistance and such let me bring down my line with variation here Maybe this gives him the green light or red light to be able to go and do his business and jump. And through here, let's just be kind of decorative. Usually everything a concept artist draws needs to be able to be justified. And what does this thing here, what does this thing here mean? Well, this is very simple through here. I'm sure that he's going to need some severe protection. Don't you agree, Mr.? Yep. Leonard, yeah. okay. That's good. And let's actually, okay. Where zygomatic bone will be at, that is the jaw bone. Let's bring this through here like this. And we'll actually go ahead and circle it around on each side. That might be kind of cool. 
I don't want to be too much like an Iron Man suit. But Iron Man has some cool farting toys to play with. That's for darn sure. Okay, Leonard, so my question, let's just, we could either do goggles or we could just do a straight on sort of area where his eyes are at like this. That might not be too bad. We bring that down here like so. Okay, the eyes, he's going to be obviously looking through here. And then what we can continue to do is build more and more mm -hmm. of this detail through here. And let's not forget the neck muscles. And this might be some sort of vacuum-like tube that feeds him oxygen because when you're that high up in the atmosphere, you need oxygen because uh, you don't get any or very little at that right. particular point. And it's very, very cold. I was jumping in between storms once, and <laughs> it's really cold up there in the air. Uh, yeah, All it would right. be. Would be, yeah, cold. cold. All right. And this is where you're starting to have fun. You can start messing with line weight variations. May not like this line too much through here. And let's give some indicators right through here that this does something. I'm not happy with my mouth here, Leonard. Try to show you guys a nice, cool trick, and it kind of backfired on me. <laughs> That's all right. You still love me. I know you do. Yeah. Five dollars is now in the mail for you. Okay. Perfect. That's even American money. Oh, so even better. Yeah. Go crazy. All right, so uh, ideally, again, when we're talking about symmetry, we want things to match up right down the middle. But for a nice loop strolling, this isn't half bad. So what I want to do is, what time is it? It's 9.48. Let's work on this for about five more minutes. We'll take a break, and I want to come back and see what you guys and gals have. And uh, we'll start talking about the different armors. The thing I really like to do is uh, I may throw a couple spot blacks up here. Because with the spot blacks, the one, uh, I guess, technique that we've gone over in the past, it's super fast to do. Uh, because your eye is reading tones and lights and values, as opposed to the line art we're doing right now. Every line set to go someplace. Every line means something. So to, to do this sort of line art work that we're doing here takes a lot longer than throwing together a big spot black thing. We'll, we'll demonstrate that when we get back. Um, I like the areas through here. The mask is starting to take shape. What I would personally like to do, let me select this area right here, control T. And start moving things to make it look even more. What I'd like to do is cut this in half. Let's go ahead and look at his uh, chest area again. Let's revisit that. And now if he's going to be doing halo sort of jumps, let's throw some equipment in through here like this. Because that's where his shoot will be able to be able to be deployed. I like that. And with this what I'm going to be doing essentially is I'm breaking a line in through here like this because it makes a much more interesting shape and gives it a better read 
by overlapping like this instead of opposed to on this side, like, oh, looky here. I mean, you, everything is a subtle difference. There's no right, there's no wrong. Again, we're just having some fun doing this. So I honestly think that you could almost put this suit on. Hold on. Cancel. Let me do edit. I'm going to duplicate a layer. I'm going to duplicate another layer again. Take my top layer here, go to this tab here, hit multiply, it gets dark, that's okay, that's what I want. This layer through here, make another layer, and then I'm going to get a light gray. Hit my brush, I want the airbrush. That's good. Pump it up a little bit. And since I'm on a different layer, and it's a multiply layer, I cannot paint over my lines. So the light is going to be coming from this area right over here, so we can make this in our first pass a little bit darker. Like such. Make another layer, make a little bit, let's go for a bluish hue, there we go. Make things kind of interesting. Whenever I do spaceships and armament, I usually only use three colors. I'll use a very light gray, one darker gray, then I'll push the value once, and then I'll use a steel cold blue to give a little bit of value. And what we're going to do is take this particular layer right here, put the blur, Gaussian blur. So to find out why that is popping up. There we go, we need a little bit of cleanup. And from our base layer, we have kind of a workable suit. It, it looks like you'd literally just put this on you. Slip your head and your shoulders and your upper torso in it. It's not bad. It needs a lot of cleanup and some line width variations before no more than 20 minutes working on it. Not bad at all. So what I want to do now is we'll take, a, say, a five-minute break, get some drinks, water, use the bathroom, whatever you've got to do. We're going to come back. We're going to take screens from you guys. And then when we come back, we're going to do another follow-along with strictly just building masks. And I'm going to show you the trick again. We're going to build one particular mask, uh, use the idea of using symmetry, cutting it down the middle. And it's basically, in essence, working on one side, duplicating it. You have an entire helmet and doing the same process over and over again. It's really fast, really good workflow. So unless there's any questions, we will take a break right now. Hey, welcome back. Hope your break was as eventful as mine was. Uh, again, we're talking about sci-fi. We're talking about armor. And uh, Leonard, right or wrong, or otherwise, that crazy Canadian's like, okay, this is going to be like a Halo guy, a uh, high altitude, low drop. So um, gave him some gears and stuff, covered his face so uh, he can have his oxygen as he's jumping out. Got some cool little shoulder pads and stuff. It looks lightweight. Again, a very quick rendition, and we can fine-tune it a lot. And, I'd like to do that here in a little bit in, in the future. But what I'm anxious to do is take some screens and find out what you guys are drawing, how it looks like on your end. So I need the first victim volunteer. And who might that be today, Mr. Nelson? Well, Leonard still has his hand up. I don't know if he ever took it down. So I'm going to go with... No, I never took it down. What would I do something like that for? <laughs> so, so are you ready to switch over to your screen then, Leonard? Oh, you, you can see it. It's ugly. It's a line yet. It's not ugly. It's hideous. I'm teasing. <laughs> That's not bad. 
Hey, Jay, yeah, I really like how you do the plates on your shoulders, dude. And this is another kind of, I guess, point I want to make for the collaboration of our MMO class. Um, you get a lot of people in the room thinking together, and, and Steve Curtis was talking about it. You may have some crazy, weird ideas, but because of these crazy, weird ideas, it may spawn a great idea that people can run with. So this is why I really enjoy looking at other people's work. I like your shoulder pads, how you stacked them up, Leonard. Everything else sucks. Stop teasing them. It's That's good. true. It does. No, just stop that. <laughs> I was just giving you a hard time. It's looking pretty good. Man, like I said, you've come a long way, Charlie Brown, so yeah. just keep your head up. Keep doing it. I keep trying. You are not trying. As Master Yoda said, you are doing. <laughs> All sorts of sexy cool. All right, thank you, Mr. Leonard. Where's Jane at? Get her butt up here. Her hand is actually up, so... Rock on. Jane's head... Not bad, Miss Jane. How are you doing tonight? Uh, okay. I'm not really into this <laughs> for some reason. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Does Photoshop have an option to mirror paint or draw? You know, I'm, I'm not a Photoshop guru, but that'd be a great quick. Mr. Nelson, does it have a, that option? Uh, not built in that I know of, no. Okay, because Painter does. I wish you... I, I, I didn't use it because I was following you, <laughs> so I didn't. We do have a a mirror painting option in in Painter here. Nice. Hey, uh, Mr. Nelson, you think by the end of the class you can program something real quick to get it to us? <laughs> I don't know. That's a bit. That's a bit of a stretch to do before class, but <laughs> maybe, maybe. No, I'm teasing. If anybody can do it, it'd be Scotty from the Enterprise or Nelson from the Bus Cave. You'd be able to do that. Uh, but again, <laughs> crap, you're right. <laughs> Give her off his dark captain, put him dead. Uh, going back to what I was talking about with uh, Mr. Leonard and his shoulder pads, I loved how that they were stacked up. I love this area right through here. I love this nice fine detail. And uh, excuse me while I yawn. Excuse me. I'm anxious to see how many people out there are yawning right now at this moment. Um, <laughs> don't let me do it again, Nelson. Um, but again, going back to their collaborative, uh, whenever you know I'm hired as a concept artist, I'll do several renditions of the same thing. And this is essence what we're doing right here. It's like, man, I like Leonard Shoulder Pat's idea. And, hey, I like Jane's idea right here. You start to combine stuff and get nailed down a, uh, a creative sort of rendering. And that's how art is born. So, Miss Jane, I think you did a very good job. Mm, thanks. For me to poop on. Yeah. Hey, Triumph's Canadian, too, so you guys should like him. Triumph? Triumph. Are you Canadian? Oh, the, oh, the group, yeah. No, 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 not the group. Uh, the, the insult comedian dog from Conan O'Brien. Oh, oh, okay. Good for me to poop on. Anyway, thank you, Miss Jane. Keep up the good thank work. You. Thank you. Alrighty, we are looking now at Wolf. Wolf Knightley, how you doing, buddy? Good, how you doing? And I'm exhausted. I sit up too late playing video games. I got up way too early to work out and been yeah. drawing all day. But you know, I'm making it. I'm glad I'm here. Uh, I like what you got going on. I like the helmet. I like the, the, the gear in the back. And your your blue, your, your building base looks really good as well. It's Thanks. not bad. It is. Uh, it's pretty uneven, but that's just. Uh, well, you know, at the same time, time. Uh, it's just I, time. If it, I had more time, it'd be all even. Exactly, and the thing that uh, that gets me is a lot of these training videos I've seen and I've watched. I'm like, my God, how are they doing it so fast? So not mess well, they pre-record everything. I'm sure they edit some stuff out to make these guys look like Superman, or maybe they're just that good. But it's different drawing live on the fly, and you're right. It's a, it's a matter of con, you know time constraints. That's why you know I'll, I'll I'll merge my layers together so we can move on and do X, Y, and Z. But not bad. Keep up the good work, and uh, I appreciate you, man. You keep at it. Thanks. Quite welcome. Quite welcome indeed. Alrighty, we got a Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis. Was there like some sort of track star named Ray Lewis? Anybody? Maybe? Yeah. 
Is this Ray? Yeah. Okay, Ray, riddle me this. What other Ray Lewis? Who is a famous Ray Lewis besides you? Oh, uh, well, there's some guy who plays football somewhere near here. I, I live in Virginia. I think he's over in Maryland somewhere. Maybe that's where the name before. All right. Hey, let's talk about your rendering here, Mr. Ray Lewis. I, I like a sketchy type of look. Not sketchy like you're about to steal my shoes from me, but sketchy as in like your rendering style. Dun -dun -dun um, you got it going on. I mean, it looks like you could literally slip this on and, you know, suit up. I like it. I like the line with the variations. That's something I, I really wasn't doing in mine. I was just trying to, believe it or not, it is hard to talk and draw and think at the same time. I'm so not that talented, but I'm working on it. But I like how your indication through here makes it look very plate-like because you have thick to thin lines. So well done. Thank you. Quite welcome. Oh, I, oh my God, I'm yawning again. I apologize. I need some coffee. So do you have any, do you have any questions about what's going on? Oh, you're talking to him because I muted him. Oh, there, yeah. He's back. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Mr. Elos, is, do, you, do you have any questions or comments going on about class so far? Uh, no, I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying this. Uh, one thing I'd like a little bit more on is tips on shading. Okay. We will, uh, probably not tonight, but next class, I'll have a drawing already done, and uh, we'll kind of go over the different lighting techniques that we have because I mean shading is, is all dictated by what lighting sources you're going to use. We can kind of go over that again and I can show you how to, to throw different tones using different level of buttons and saturations and this and that. We'll definitely go over some tricks like that next time. That's a good question. Okay. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. Alrighty. Next up we have a Sydney. Sydney. Hello, Sydney. Hello. You have an evil, evil sister. That's all I've got to say. <laughs> I'm sorry. I played Xbox with her till like two in the morning this morning. I'm my butt's dragging. So uh, anyway, let's look at your drawing. I know I, I just say no. I should have said no. I'm a big boy, but I couldn't. Uh, first of all. I like the, the choice of blue that you used, and your actual uh, brush size looks pretty good. Um, your grays, I like the indicators around the neck where it can strap in, this and that. Not bad at all. Now, at least it's not a spot black, correct? Yes. Yes, because I thought about, well, we'll do X, Y, and Z, but I know Sydney would be complaining if I did that. So do you have any questions or comments? Uh. I don't know. I guess I'm kind of with the last guy because I'm not big on coloring and shading. I never do it, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay, that's something we're definitely going to uh, have to tackle. Uh, I'm working on a lot of it, too. I I'm good, but I'm just good enough to be dangerous. Uh, but coloring is another animal altogether. Um, there's a lot of artists out there. Tim Bradstreet's one of them. Uh, when he first started doing stuff for White Wolf, the Masquerade, brilliant guy when it comes to drawing and lighting uh, and inking but he couldn't do color to save his life <laughs> he, you know he'd throw it to somebody else because coloring is is another dynamic I guess field and talents and and uh, animal that you have to tame so don't be ashamed Sid we will tackle this together and we will be able to color the best coloring books in the world all right all right, well done, ma'am. Keep it up. Thank you. You're quite welcome. All righty. And then finally, we have an Alex. Alex. Alexander the Great. Hello. Hi. Oh, dude, I like dude, it. I like it. Wow. And uh, yeah, I remember talking to talk Leonard about. about uh, uh, his place in the shoulders. shoulders. I love I love to run the size back. back. You, nice. you made it very, very, very aggressive. I like that. Well, yeah, I was going. I was going for scary. Yeah, I, that would be scary. Okay, you know, speaking of concept art and that sort of stuff. Back in uh, like the 1940s, 50s, local police police put, you know, you had a shirt. 
Uh, uh, everybody else can be like, going or is this me? Yeah, I think everyone, yeah, I think everyone can. can. Hold on, I'll just, yeah, I'll, on, I'll, I'll, just mute. I'll, I'll mute. I'll mute Alex while you're talking, then I'll unmute him. Okay. Uh, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, back in the 1940s, you know, you had this slick cop, his hair nice and combed, pressed outfit, and that was law enforcement. That was great. and It's, it's cool. It's professional. And, and then we had uh, this little hostage crisis during some Olympic Games, and these guys wore masks, and it was scary, and this and that. And anyway, it's just this unique way of, of looking about how uh, one part of our life the cop was a nice guy that could hand you like a lollipop, and he was a stand-up citizen to now our police force, looking more and more like like Alex is drawing here. They're going for shocking and scary and intimidation factor. Uh, so, again, if you're doing something, some sort of work for some sort of client, is this what genre, what time period? And it's really good to look at different historical facts so you can try to nail something. And anyway, when he was saying he was going for scary, Alex definitely nailed it. So, well done. I kind of went on a tirade. Mr. Alex, do you have any more questions? I'm muted. Uh, no. No, I'm good. Well, okay. okay. Well, that was easy. That was easy. <laughs> I appreciate you, man. Well done. Well done. <sighs> Are we ready? Okay. Let's, let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. Edits, cuts, oops. <laughs> I'm so. Let's just merge all the layers and do it the cheap down the easy way. And I know there's different ways of doing this, guys. It's just I don't have to move my hands and push a lot of buttons. Do it this way. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another layer. This is also a follow along. And. Uh, I like the idea of scary for the look of the helmet. So right now we're going to create yet another helmet. And I'm going to use most of my my board. Actually, let me do this. This is for Sid. Okay, let's, I'm going to do a spot black first. Make sure my black's going. Pump my opacity all the way to 100%. Opacity. All right. Literally just making a circle. Yeah, I'm making a circle. I'm going to come back in here for some negative space with my eraser tool. Again, kind of hard to talk and think at the same time. And from here. All right, so literally, I, I just basically drew ahead with a little bit of ear indicators and where the next going to go. But from this this very idea, this very ear right here, I could really come in here and get some grays, and I can start laying in tones and values and this. And look, I got slanted eyes sort of thing. I'm not going to do that because I know uh, Sid would have a child. That's not really the purpose of this. But it would be very quick to be able to do that. So I'll just take this bad boy right here, Control-T shrink them down a little bit, put them up here in the corner, and we'll keep them for this time being right here. And what we're going to do is get my non-photo blue. And this time what we're going to do, instead of roundish, I want a little more egg shape. So we can step back, make sure my opacity is down in its 40s, so I start to work. 
Again, nice and loose, nice and loose, nothing wrong with that. And from here, where my neck is going to go. Where my chin is going to go. And let's not give a straight, straight on shot. Let's the eyes will come in through here. Face will come in through like this. The ear protectors right here, small marking in through here. Make the mouth like this. I like the idea of kind of the straps around the neck. And believe it or not, this is going to be my first pass. This is where cheekbones will be underneath the helmet. The eyes are at right here. We'll have this come down here like that. So I got a lot of guidelines. They look like a lot of blues. And it is, there's a lot of blues. But this is what's cool. They're just basically guidelines. So I'm going to actually ghost this out a little bit, create another layer on top of it so I can draw on top of this. And this is where we're down and funky. Really? Photoshop? Thought I was going to lose it, Nelson. Thought. I still may be losing it. Um, um, hmm. There you go. Okay. Nope. Is your F1 key <laughs> by any chance held down? Put it on pause for a minute. No. I'm not. Hey, that technical difficulty was brought to you by me, yours truly, here at the Derrick Cave. Uh, what we did, really quick, very loose, blue indicators uh, are our baseline. And what I did was create a second layer so I can draw on top of this area through here. And here's what we're going to do. So I'm going to bring it up, make it kind of a close-up, bring my brush stroke down just a little bit here. I'm going to come up like this, bring in a small indention, take it out like this. And where the earpiece is going to go, And really get in here. Nice smooth line. Where the earpiece is at. And from here, this is where we can see underneath where we're going to take this. Nice and smooth. Bring it down here like this. Bring it out a little bit. At an angle like such. And what I'm doing is I'm just filling out the outline right now. I'm going to bring this around here like so. Nice, one smooth line. Come back here where the ear protection is going to be at. Like such. I'm going to have part of my sagomatic bone covered up through here. Bring this down like that. So again, going kind of along with uh, Alex's look, we're going to kind of make it more scary. And this here will come up like such. And what we're going to do is bring this down right about here. bring this up here again to an angle. Remember in uh, line drawings there's got to be a place for every line. Every line goes someplace. So back over here, right underneath this whole bone area, bring a straight line down like this. A couple times. And then Building on top of it a little bit, 
So again, going for what looks like a wrap. And I'm not talking like yo-yo G sort of wrap. We have this indicator right through here where the the inventions for the cheekbones are at. We'll do the same thing go over here. Bring it down like this. Make this line a little bit oops. A little bit thicker through here like this. Throw a little bit of shadows underneath here like that. And we can tell over here there's some sort of concave thing that goes in. So ideally we want to make the same thing right over here. So what we're going to do is from the, the earpiece, we're going to bring this down here just like this side here. And bring it down to where the chin right through here where we do the indicator line is at. And from this, I'm going to draw another indicator here. And draw this down here like this. So we're getting there. We're getting some really cool, interesting shapes. And if I take my base layer off, we got some cool stuff going on. And that's what I want us to do. And again, it's cool instead of rushing. Uh, it'd take forever to draw an entire armament piece, but we're, we're taking our time right now, so we can definitely make this look really, really good, which I definitely want to do. Getting my eraser tool out, because I don't want this super thick line through here just yet. Getting my brush tool back out there. By raise a hand, raise a hand if you guys need me to stop or to pause. Anybody, Mr. Nelson? Um, I'm not seeing anyone. Okay. okay, good. Good, good, good to know. All right, so I'm going to brush back out this area right through here. Let's go ahead and bring the strap down here like this. But we can have this come around. Oops, that's not as smooth as I have wanted. Let's try this again. That's okay, I'll take my eraser tool. Ta da! Okay, not exactly what I want, but what we're making it work. Okay, from here, let's take this and meet this end right here. And we'll take this line here. Bring it down here to meet that end. And last but not least, the chin area. Let's just drop it down a little bit like this. And raise it up. Hold on. There we go. Raise it up like that. So it looks like we have some straps, some areas running around through his neck. That's pretty cool. And right now, let's work on the, the, the top, the, the, the brain pan, so to speak. We have some indications here uh, where the helmet is folded or, or made. So what I want to do here is I'm going to come in here through like this. Oops. Really dark. Come back up, follow this around, maybe not quite, here we go. That looks a little bit better. I'm going to use my brush again, I'm, I'm taking it down. That is interesting looking. And from here where this line is at, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out, come down, and meet through here like this. Same thing with this. And notice that the different in brush sizes. This is a lot thinner brush. And that's exactly what I want. All right, so I'm going to make my brush size a little bit bigger. Let's just give eye slots this time.
one eye slot through here, the other eye slot through here, the side like this. And again, I'm going to take my brush size down considerably, and I'm going to give an indication on both of these sides here on how the, the skin and the actual one skin, but uh, the metal would fold. And same thing down here like this. And let's go with that uh, evil-esque sort of smile Alex is doing. And what I'm going to do is make a straight line like this across. And here in a minute, we're going to have some lot of fun with uh, drawing actual really, really nice detail. Let's go ahead and draw some sort of symbol through here, shall we? That's a brilliant idea. That's what I said. Let's come up here like this. And maybe something like that. Right, let's turn off our base layer. This is what we have so far. How's everybody else doing so far? Um, I do not see any problems, so... That's good. Yes. I will keep going then, since we don't have any problems. I'll just keep my base layer off like this. And I see a lot of empty white spaces in through here. I mean, that's all right, but I, I don't want that. So I'm going to come in and start putting some detail through here. So we're going to come in here for the indication of where the ear is at. And on this side here. Again, just making some interesting shapes. Maybe the same, but some dot, dots, 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 cootie shots. And here. I can just a little round it up through here like this. Let's put some uh, detail in here for the cheeks. Same thing with this over here like this. And even through here, we can put some small lines about the eyes. That may not be a bad idea. And again, the thing I'm playing around with the most is line with variation. I'm not keeping everything the same line way because that would be very boring to the reader or the person looking at the illustration. And again, guys and gals, there's no right, there's no wrong. This can look like anything that you want it to look like. This is your creation. All right, let's have some fun with some tubing through here. Let's do this here. Let's bring this down through this like that. And we're going to pump up the brush size a little bit. And we're going to come up underneath the chin. Make some tubes as such. The other side and through these areas right here. We don't have to get a lot of detail in here. Not to see a lot. This is coming along pretty good. I'm kind of liking it, kind of digging it. Um, I really believe this area is right through here. We need to 
decorate it, doctor it up, do something uh, nice with it. The other thing I like to do is like, okay, this is a good shape, but if I collectively take this whole thing, hit Control T, I'm like, does it look better skinny? Do I swish it? Does it look good? Well, if I just make it more elongated like that, how's that going to look? I like that. That's fine. Just another trip, trick and trip, trick and tip. There you go, of of, of doing some quick things. If you think his head is too much like a bullet shape, what we can do here is take this, hit Control T. Actually, I like it thinner, like that, a little bit better. And hit Control D. No, like that. What I think we need to do here now is get some. Uh, small things going on through here so it looks more like it there's a purpose to it and that's pretty good so let's do a little bit of line weight variations right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in through here oops There we go. I'm trying to highlight the corner through here. Again, it's very important to do that whenever you're making any sort of art, so it's not a boring, stagnant sort of read. And by these lines being thick to thin like that, it just adds a lot. It makes things pop. Do the same thing down here. As such, and we got an Iron Man s looking sort of helmet in relatively no time at all. So what I want to do is I want to see your guys' creations right now. You guys up for that? Alrighty, so go ahead and post in the questions panel if you want to switch over to your screen. So far, I see nothing. Steve will do it. Steve, Steve will eat anything. All right, well, let's pop into Steve then, while we wait on other people. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Hello, Hello, Steve. Steve. Maybe in the bathroom. That'd be, That'd be embarrassing for him. Let's <laughs> okay, uh, Jane is ready. Oh, there he is. Oh, I muted him. Sorry. Multitasking. <laughs> nice. Look at you. You do the spot black and start throwing. I'm proud of you, man. That is really well done. That's for you, Sydney. <laughs> yeah, you, you tell your girl that, yeah, you can do cool stuff like that. <laughs> tell her to suck it up, buttercup. And, and use spot blacks. <laughs> Well done. Well done indeed. I like that. Congratulations, sir. Well, wait, well, well, I can't talk. What a way to put your daughter in her place. Well done. <laughs> Thanks. Very good. Thank you. Who's the next person? Next victim is Jane. Sad. Not bad, Jane. <laughs> Get lopsided. Well, you know, you can correct that in Photoshop or your, your painter or whatever you're using by you know, yep. tilting stuff. can rotate but, it. Yep. Yeah, rotate it. Not bad at all. I'm proud of you. Uh, yeah, armor is always fun to do, just overlapping and lapping. And when we get done with this, what we'll do is we'll take our drawings here and we'll make some subtle changes to it by cutting and pasting and just maneuvering stuff around. That's the goal anyway. But you have a nice base work, you know, thing to work with. So well done. Thanks. Proud of you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alrighty. Um, the next one is Sid. 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 <clears throat> Sid. Sid. <clears throat> Not, not bad, Sydney. Thank not you. Nearly, not a little off. A little bit off. I mean, you know what? We're doing this live on fly, and you know, 
you have, you have time you can nail I'm sure. But not but nearly as good as your dad's spot black, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you pat your old man on the on the back for me and you see him say, well done. But yours, I'm looking at it, you have nine nice and clean lines. So that's really good. So well done on that. I'm proud of you. Quite welcome, man. Quite welcome. Who's next? Alrighty. Uh, next one is a Mr. Wolf. Das Wolf. Das Hund. Not bad. Hey, how you doing? Good. Good. Not bad at all. I like your line width or your line weight. It's really, really good. Well done. Well done. Again, it's a nice, cute, not cute. I mean, we're not cute. It's, it's a nice, quick render. It's something that we can work with, and explore, and exploit. So we'll exploit it here in a minute. Well done. I'm proud of you. Yeah, thanks. Quite welcome. Alrighty. Next up, we have an Alex. Alex, oh, Alex, banana, fanta, Alex, Alex. Howdy. How you doing? Howdy. How you doing? Good, good. <laughs> yeah, this, this time he turned down a little bit, looking a little introspective, I think. He's like, sometimes I feel people and think about it, and so I just don't. I like it. Hold on. Thank you. Uh, what, what, what brush are you using? Um, standard? I was, no, I've been, I've been just flipping between these things. But whatever, I guess felt tip pen and other felt tip pen. I don't, I don't know really. This is that uh, sketchbook program. Well, I like it. I like it. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Alrighty. Next up, we have a. Ray, who posted in the chat and not the questions panel, which is why he's last. <laughs> I love you, Nelson. Look at that, man. Well uh, done. Well, I had uh, trouble. We now have questions, chat, attendee lists, all kinds of stuff. Uh, I'm just trying to find the right place. Sorry. You know, I'm just giving it's you all help. good. <laughs> Nelson does that. He likes to give people hell. Give them hell back. That's what I say. Hey, but I, I like that. I, I like the different uh, line weights that you have going on here because it makes for a nice, interesting read. I mean, that'd be kind of cool to, to color it all up like that. You're doing great. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Any questions? No. I like that. That's nice and easy. All right. Well, then we'll get back to it. I don't see anyone else, so... Oh, Leonard. Sorry. I can't forget Leonard. He got a um he got sandwiched in between all the other messages and I missed him. Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> there he is. There he is. <laughs> is he sweating? <laughs> that that's his Oh my. Oh, my. oh I like it. Very nice. <laughs> so you're doing great. And all we're doing is you know in the beginning in one and one we made very simple geometric shapes and they're not so simple anymore but they're still just shapes and you're doing a really good job by recognizing them so I'm proud of you dude keep it up you betcha thanks thank you thank you thank you alrighty so let's go ahead and jump back into Derek roger that alright so you show my screen here's some things I like to do or possibly do I like doing the, my whole, selecting my area right through here, and in control, actually, sorry Wolf, I'm going to do is I'm going to merge my layers here, I'm going to flatten you up like this, let's say okay, so I can move him around, actually hit control C, control V, and then control T. So at least we have a base layer here, so that's good. Let me come back to my background here. And then we can start mucking about with stuff. I'll take my tool area again like this, hit control T. 
I'm gonna say, okay, I like that, I like this. The chin, control T. And okay, control D. Then I can start making some subtle changes with my eraser tool here. Keeping the idea of having some tubes around here like this. And my brush stroke again. Make it nice and fat. Now you guys don't have to follow along. It's not the, the goal of this area right here. Bad boy like this. Control copy, control V, control T. Go back to my background layer here. And let's try. Ah. Try this, control T. I don't think that's going to work. Let's just do this then. Let's get my brush tool out, or my eraser tool. B for brush. And let's come up through here. Zoom in here a little bit better. And I'm just having fun designing some different things on this individual. And let's come back over here and hit control copy, control V, control T. In less than like five minutes, we're starting to get different looks. And they, the, the, what you do is you, you just keep your base layer and you can contort, you can do all sorts of cool things, you can do add-ons to them and make 10 different similar masks in no time at all. So uh, that, that's the whole point of this whole exercise here is following basic rules, basic shapes, getting some cool base layer, and then playing around like silly putty stretching and bending and adding to it. So uh, those are the lessons are for tonight. Um, any questions? I don't see any questions. Question there, there, there. Questions? questions. Anybody? Anybody? Got one question. Steve right. wants to so, uh, Okay. There we go. Really nice, really nice work, man. Oh, I forgot to unmute him. I hope. <laughs> there we go. Either. Hello. 
Yeah, I'm just trying to fill this stuff around so I can do it. Um, while we're working with spaceships, armor, and stuff like that, uh, just a little trick. I don't know if everyone else knows it. But uh, like when you're doing uh, rivets, bolts, things like that, and you want them to be really nicely spaced, if you just take your regular brush and pull out your brush panel, you have a nice little spacing thing here. Nice. And you can crank that up to like 150. Uh, give a hard brush. That's not a hard brush. There's a hard brush. And then if you do your straight line shift click thing or something like that, well, let's have a. Uh, see, this see, this hard is all talking at the same time. See. There we go. Do your shift click thing. You'll get nothing because I'm. What am I doing? Because your brush isn't chosen. You have your big turd there. Yep. <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> you have your uh, your burn tool selected. You have oh, that's it. There you go. Good man. Thank Good you. Call. Come on, B. There we go. And anyway, if you shift click, then you will get a. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that yeah, won't be making fun of me so soon next time, right? You'll get a really nice. That is really nice. Pattern like that. So I just thought I'd share that for everybody because it was a trick I ran across after like three months of trying to figure out how to do that. It's very cool. Thank you, sir, for sharing. I appreciate it. We will secretly laugh together later on about it. <laughs> yeah, or not so secretly. Yeah, probably not secretly at all. Well done. So, Nelson's going to find out what's going on with the homework uh, thing. That's 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 we've not been able to get it for some reason. So go ahead and turn in next your last week's homework because I definitely want to see you guys worked hard on it. I want you guys to be able to share it. I want to be able to critique it. And this next week's homework is just kind of like we did. I want to have one really good base drawing of a helmet. And then I want you to create like five alternates off that one base. So this next week draw, uh, drawing assignment is five different helmets. You can get there any way you want. You can copy, paste, and select, and push and pull. Well, there can be all five brand new helmets. But and, and that's up to you. I would suggest maybe doing like a heavy armor helmet, a scout helmet, light armor helmet, medium, and you know, underneath make little bitty notations. This is what this is, and this is why this is. And it's time to put our big girls, boys, and boots on and uh, start walking the walk, talking the talk. So if you're going to make concept art, you definitely want to make some art notes to make sure if there's any questions that, that there's answers. So does everybody understand? Um, I don't see any questions. So, oh, uh, Alex did actually have a question that came in about yes. a minute ago. He asks, how do your brush, how do, how, so you, what? I'm going to skip that one. How do you keep track of the widths that you're using? For the brushes, I mean. Oh, I guess. I'm not going to lie. Uh it's, if it's thick, it's thick. Uh, and again, the, the brush size is going to change depending on what DPI my, my image is set at. Because if I had this 72 DPI, my background, you know, brush size 17 is still going to be a lot bigger on 72 DPI as compared to, you know, 300 DPI. So Whenever I start to draw for you guys, you always see me draw a couple of brush strokes. That's me finding out, well, okay, this brush size is good. This is what it needs to be. And, you know, if you, you need fine detail, of course, you need to make it, the brush size smaller and you get in there. And this is kind of an eyeballing thing from job to job. Alrighty. And then he says, uh, he comments, uh, I just end up with everything a different width. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, a lot of times... Let me see if I got this up here. All right, for like this hand, for instance, this is our one of our Athenian hands. What I would literally do with this is my brush size is set at nine right now. Oh, I'm pulling the sieve. Can't draw on it. 
Doesn't matter. Uh, 100, 100. Slayer. Flatten. Um, you broke it. Yeah. Steve's, Steve's laughing. laughing. Steve, what the hell is he using my art pad? Hold on. Oh, oh, that, go back, go back, go back. Hit Control D. Sorry, I, I missed this. There it is. Oh, so I didn't see it selected either. My bad. Good eyes, Nelson. All right, here we go. And Wolf noticed it so, right as I did too. So you, you know, there we go. So it's at nine. I'm actually going to bring this down to say a, a six for right now. And I'm going to test it out because that's cool. My brush again. And usually for my outline. I'm going to keep it that one particular level. Because you can see right here, I, I haven't really done anything to it yet. And then even this level 9, I can come in here to make things starting to pop. Just like that. And then from there, you know, I'll just keep track. Okay, I was using, uh, it was a six, make a notation. And then for finer detail, I may bring it down to a four and say, okay, that's cool. So I'm working with six and fours. I'm working in even numbers. And through here, yeah, there's really no right or wrong reason. Again, I'm just making different line with variations to make things pop. But you can see the difference between my six being the outer, outermost outline compared to then through here at a four. And usually the style I prefer and I do is I, I do really thick, bold lines on the outlines to make things pop on the outer, you know, parts of my renderings. But uh, that's how I go about it. Alrighty. Um, it doesn't look like there are any more questions or comments. Okay. Well, guys, thank you very much for attending tonight. Uh, give me five helmets by next Friday. And uh, Nelson will take care of the homework so you can submit your ships from last week and then we'll just go over the homework and eat popcorn next Friday and give kudos out and we'll give one Razzie award one Razzie award Leonard I'm teasing but it could go to you Leonard it could so uh, and I say that with all the love in the world all right with that you guys uh, be safe keep your feet on the ground your ankles slightly above them remember to dream big draw lots and uh, we'll see you next time on sci-fi drawing with 3d buzz <laughs>